What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Earlier this morning, I received an email from Kelly O. I also received a message from my friend, Rockstar Preacher, inquiring about this anomaly over here at VentusGuide.com. This is the email I got from Kelly O. this morning at 9.42 a.m. asking, is the dark red object an anomaly or a freak wave of 85 feet coming from the Antarctic Ocean? It's traveling up through the Atlantic in the coming days. So I, I got to looking myself over here at VentusSky.com. I've used VentusSky for many, many years, and it's normally a very reliable source of information. And here's what I found. I went to the feature under waves, significant wave height. Sure enough, there it is. And we're going to go back in time and take a look at when this thing originated. It first appeared on the map over here at VentusSky.com. And it does appear to originate from the Antarctica area deep down in the, the southern hemisphere on April 9th, the day after the eclipse of 2024, around 2 p.m., and here we go. I'm going to step it forward three hours at a time. There it is. Shows up in the southern Atlantic Ocean, implying that there is a very large field of waves measuring 83.7 feet. And I couldn't help but notice the interesting shape of whatever is going on down here. More strange energy showing up in various places around the world. So I'm going to step it forward another three hours. It gets bigger. And it gets bigger. We're going to step it forward another three hours. 11 p.m. on April 9th gets even bigger. We're going to step it forward again. Now we're into the 10th and it is 2 a.m. Much bigger, uniformly moving to the north. Three hours again, still moving to the north off the southwest coast of Africa out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now it's even bigger. You can tell it's longer and wider. Stepping forward again, another three hours, 11 a.m., 2 p.m., 5 p.m. on the 10th, 8 p.m. on the 10th, 11 p.m. on the 10th, and you can see now it's much bigger, showing a wider field. In fact, we're going to measure this area and get an approximate size of what's going on here. But this is at 11 p.m. on the 10th. Now we're stepping forward yet again, 3 hours, 2 a.m. on the 11th, and then going from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., it disappears off the map. I think what we're dealing with here is a USO. Not necessarily a rogue wave, but some sort of a large rogue object that was sending signals as if there was an 80-foot-plus wave out here, when all along it possibly could have been some sort of a large underwater craft creating these wave anomalies. Now we're going to go over to zoom.earth. This is the area right here where the anomaly showed up on ventusky.com. We're going to, to measure the approximate size of this thing goes from right there off the coast of Angola, well past the southern tip of Africa. Here we go, off the coast of Angola, down past southern Africa, and we'll stop right there, approximately 2,000 miles long, and that could be conservative. And looking at the possible width, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 miles wide, and that would be the approximate size of this energy field or disturbance that's being detected, not necessarily a possible USO that, that could have been traveling underwater. And look what else I found down in the southern hemisphere. There's one buoy down here in the southern hemisphere that's in event mode. It's not off the coast of Africa, but if you look over here off the coast of Africa, there are no buoys in this area where the anomaly's at. There's none. There's some that are close, but none where that anomaly showed up right in here. Looking at earthquakes, there have been no large earthquakes down here in South America. Coming back to the National Data Buoy Center, where the buoy is in event mode, implying a tsunami or some sort of energy disturbance in deep South America. Look at what it shows. A vertical movement of nearly 2,000 meters. That would be 6,000 feet right off the, the coast of South America. So what if, just what if, something moved over here, creating a disturbance, not necessarily an earthquake, this thing traveled down here between South America and Antarctica and then up through the, the Atlantic Ocean, showing up over here on VentusSky.com as a persistent 36-hour 80-plus foot wave anomaly like Kelly noticed this morning around 9.40 a.m. If it indeed were some sort of a very large underwater craft, 
came out, moved around this way, showed up over here on VentusSky.com as a huge rogue wave system moving through the Atlantic Ocean. It's just a possibility, guys. I'm trying to, to think outside the box. Here's what it looks like. I, I recorded the anomaly, and then I zoomed in on it. You can see where it starts, right down here, deep in the southern hemisphere, showing 83.7 foot tall waves persistent waves and then this thing gets larger and larger as if something were moving in that area could have been something underwater moving creating what looked like large waves on the surface that's what this instrument was detecting was large waves or could it have been a giant USO that was showing up as 80 plus foot waves for 36 hours could have been something underwater I don't know guys I'm trying to make sense of this myself this is highly unusual once again I've used Venta Sky for many many years and it's normally a very accurate source of information I'm not sure what's going on here but there very well could have been something detected that's why I'm trying to make sense of this I don't think there were necessarily 83 foot waves for 36 hours out here without more possible activity regarding the buoys up here in the in the central Atlantic Ocean. Guys, I'm just trying to make sense of this too. I think this could have been some sort of a large underwater craft that was moving from South America around into the Atlantic Ocean over to the, the coastal areas of Africa. Not necessarily coastal Africa, but out in the southeastern Atlantic Ocean creating a disturbance, 36-hour disturbance, implying that there were waves of over 80-plus feet tall. You don't see anything over here on Zoom.Earth, and, and you wouldn't with regard to significant wave height or if there were something underwater over here off the, the southwest coast of Africa. It simply wouldn't show up over here on Zoom.Earth. So you have to look in other areas for signs of movement. And I don't think it got far enough up to activate this buoy here. At least it's not showing any type of, of activity. The only one that's showing activity is off the, the southern coast of South America, and it's showing a lot of activity. And again, no earthquakes near Chile. So once again, a very mysterious energy form implying some sort of large wave field moving around deep in the southern hemisphere of planet Earth. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.